<coughs> I am going to discuss uh, today regarding some of the regarding some of the things those are um, like uh, minerals and their association uh, in the history of the art as you have probably have gone through some of the materials regarding the generation of different types of meteorites in our solar system as well as there are separate cycles that you should know after the genesis which were hydrogen burning helium generation the generation of carbon nitrogen and oxygen and then isotopes up to iron and then synthesis of much heavier elements now the interesting thing is that afterwards the generation of these elements in the universe we have known that earth was at about earth is about 4.56 billion years old from the meteorites as we have discussed now the thing is that whenever we are trying to have that idea that when the universe was being created after the solar nebula generation it was like 13 billion years ago and then 4.56 billion years ago the earth came into existence and there is a common thing that our common idea that you will know is a mineral as I have told that minerals have a lattice at a crystal composition they are naturally occurring composites or chemical compounds the thing is that the minerals can be different in their structure as well as composition some of them are silicates some of them are oxides some of them are sulfides etc etc the sulfide minerals as we know it could be pyrite that is one iron sulfide or zinc sulfide or cufes2 the oxide minerals which could be aluminum oxide it could be hematite it could be it could be magnetite and more silicates they could be like Fe2SI2O6 which is a composition of an orthopyroxene or olivine uh, orthopyroxene in statite it could be an olivine Fe2SiO4 or it could be a feldspar Cl2SI2O8 now reasonably if you observe that some of the structures are being created by silicates that is SiO4 tetrahedras and the most valuable information in geology comes from the discussion and analysis of silicate minerals because most of the earth's crust as well as this is these are composed of basically silicate mineralogy where the structure is practically composed of SiO4 octahedra which is a silica there is an oxygen, there is an, there is an oxygen, there is an oxygen, and there is an oxygen. It is silica at the center and oxygen at the apices. And they are typically tetrahedral in structure. That's how it is like it, it is it should look like in three dimension. Now these silicates 
or these compounds of the silicates. Sometimes in a mineralogical structure, these tetrahedra are separately or they actually are found in the crystal lattice in a very specific arrangement like um, they are independently forming a crystal structure like in different shapes suppose there is a same thing like this there is a same thing like this however there is no chaining or bonding between these SiO4 individual tetrahedrons and these silicates are known as nesosilicates any SO SiLi CaTe if I try to have the idea that what are the nesosilicate and this is a very ideal diagrammatic representation of the different types of silicates that you or we generally found or generally find I try to enlarge this now this is how this is called an nesosilicate that is unique composition SiO4 tetra negative structure and the most important mineral in this group in art we find it is olivine okay now nesosilicate as an example I have shown it that it is an olivine structure olivine can form a nesosilicate okay let me go